Every football fan knows the long-term effects of playing in the NFL. There are serious risks of brain damage from concussions, life-threatening breaks of bones, and career-ending ligament separations. But one of the hidden costs of playing in the NFL is the potential of getting mangled fingers. And that's because finger injuries in the NFL are not taken seriously. They just pop it back into place. So let's take a look at some of the more notable NFL players with mangled fingers and hands. Let's start out with the defensive lineman first. Booger McFarlane was a commentator for Monday Night Football for only two seasons because he wasn't a fan favorite. When you look at Kelvin Benjamin, guys, he's 6'5", he's 245 pounds. He's probably a Popeye's biscuit away from being a tight end. Before he was making terrible calls on the Booger Mobile, he played seven years in the NFL as a defensive tackle for the Buccaneers and Colts. And being in the trenches requires a lot of physicality. So it's no surprise, Booger probably suffered several finger injuries in his career that resulted in his fingers being permanently disfigured. His ability to put this team on his back, that's what everyone around the country wanted to see. And we saw it in the fourth quarter. Andy Reid told us this weekend, he's as closest thing to Brett Favre as, as he's seen with his playmaking ability. And he showed the entire country tonight. Showtime Mahomes is for real. Marcellus Wiley is currently an NFL analyst and has hosted a few different shows the past few years on some major sports networks. Before having a career in TV, Wiley was an NFL defensive end for eight years for the Bills, Chargers, Cowboys, and Jaguars. He is known for having an ugly pointer finger. Yeah, this is this is no good. This is not a gang sign, y'all. This is just <laughs> I left the Compton behind me. Um, I, I, I'm playing in Chicago, and the, the lineman's running left. I, I see the cut back. I'm trying to go right. Back, back, back. This just tendons flying everywhere. This is just turns into this flamingo here, right? And in my mind, I'm like, I know fingers are laughed at in the NFL in terms of injury. Where is it on the pecking order? So I knew I was going to still play. But the, the way, the, the disregard for my pain by Bill Parcells <laughs> and others, well, it, it caught me off guard. So all they did was give me a bridge tape, they call it. They was like, oh, that's, you'll be all right. Turn away. Yanked it <clears throat> and pulled it. Things started to crack again. And then from there, they taped it to the next one. Poor healthy finger over here. Say, well, I'm dealing with him. So they're together. And then I go out there like this. And the rest of the game, I didn't touch the guy with my left hand. You know, they say you can have finger surgery and finger rehab. That just doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound like the most manly thing I could do. Um, plus, I think it would get jammed up and messed up. And I don't think it would ever get back to normal. Michael Strahan and his tooth gap can be seen on different morning talk shows or NFL coverage shows. But before being the sidekick to Kelly Ripa, he was an NFL defensive end for 14 years as a New York Giant. And with his mutilated hands, he likes to do some tricks. The story of my fingers, yeah. how I hurt my fingers. Well, that, that pinky is, it's always been like that from what I can remember. All my fingers, they don't really line up and they're just from like getting bent out of shape. All in, 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 that's the first one I ever did. First one I ever did, I had surgery on this one. You know, it's all from grabbing people. When you're grabbing somebody, they try to run and you try to jerk them, and then you go, ah, you run after the play, and the play is over, and you go, and you look, and your finger's sitting like that, and you go, ah, snap it back. And the crazy thing is, you don't come out of a football game because of a finger. They would laugh at you. So you suck it up, you go back, you, they bring to the side, they tape it together, and then you go play again. And the next day, one knuckle looks like those two put together, and you deal with it. But it's tender, it takes a little while to get used to hitting people again. I've pretty much smashed all my fingernails before between the helmets. You can put your hands up and then the blood gets underneath. And one of the most painful things you could ever do is when they have to burn a hole in your fingernail to release the pressure so the blood can come out. Oh my. You know, that's probably the most pain I've ever been in. Yeah, not nice. Next, we can see the deformed hands of some former linebackers. After retiring from football after a 10 year career, AJ Hawk has been actively going on different football related shows talking about the inner workings of an NFL team. He himself played the linebacker position for the Packers, Bengals, and Falcons. On one of these appearances, he went in depth on football's effect on his fingers. These three work. These three work well. What about the other two? The claw. Don't worry about the other two. Can you shut your hands? <laughs> yeah, I can shut them. Kind of. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
right one. That's a serious fist on the right. Oh, so gross. Cut that thing, their index finger in. Was that from a jersey? Yeah. I don't know. Who oh, knows? Life. No, my this ring finger. I told you they had to take a ligament out of my wrist and bolt it into my finger here. I told you my finger was sideways for like four months. This one. <laughs> what was it from? Was it like from this. a jersey? Uh, it was a jersey or a helmet. I don't know. Did you finish the game? Yeah, I finished the season. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's that hawk difference right there. I, mean, I, I buddy taped it to this pinky finger, that this pinky that doesn't work, and I just buddy taped these two so I had two dead guys for the rest of the year and then got it fixed after the season. Randy Gradishar is a name you probably have never heard before. He was a linebacker for the Denver Broncos and had a 10-year NFL career. Aside from his many other injuries, his fingers look like this. His ring finger was displaced many years ago during his playing days, and now he keeps it this way as a sort of medal of honor for his time in the league. Chuck Bednarik is a Philadelphia Eagles legend and one of the last NFL players to play both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. He had a 12-year NFL career as a center and linebacker. His time in the league left him with many memories, but also some wear and tear on his body, all the way into his old age. You know, I got a crooked finger and... My finger was dislocated down around a 20 yard line. And see, that's 180 degrees. <laughs> Next, we move to the offensive side of the ball to see what happens to the guys protecting the Chad quarterbacks. David Deal was an NFL guard and tackle for the New York Giants. He played 10 years in the league and received some permanent damage to the structure of his hands. Offensive line hands. No, wait, are those... That's permanent. So you... That's permanent. Surgery... Thumb reattached, ligament damage. I mean, that's what life in the trenches. But are you disabled? With no, them? oh no, I can move them. They just don't. I mean, this one has <laughs> seven screws, metal plates oh, in it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's permanent. Any Ooh. fingers not broken? Um, this middle finger's never yeah, been broken. No, I'm not showing that don't, one. Don't hold up the middle. No, no, no. This one. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Obviously, my index finger's twisted a little bit. If you notice. I don't know, it's part of playing in the, the trenches. 11 years, trench life warfare. You're getting after people. You're twisting, torquing, bending. This one was the worst, though. Vince Woolfork. Twist, spins off of my block. He goes. My finger's the only thing that gets caught in his shoulder pads and rips with him. So basically my knuckle turned into powder and crushed itself. And then I ended up playing the last two months of the season of the 2011 year with a broken hand. Brian Baldinger is known to many NFL fans as the guy who breaks down plays on Twitter and films the breakdown on his phone. Let's take a look at some of the plays from last week. Tell you, when he throws it, he doesn't miss by much when he does miss. I mean, this ball is right at Marquise Goodwin. You can say that Eli Apple is over his back, all that kind of stuff. Well, before being an NFL analyst, he played in the NFL for 10 seasons on the Cowboys, Colts, Bills, and Eagles at the guard or center positions. During this time is when he managed to get his iconic crooked pinky finger. Well, I was playing for the Dallas Cowboys and we were in training camp and we just had these brutal training camp practices day in, day out. And um, my finger got caught in Randy White's jersey. And, um, you know, like all good offense linemen, we hold and grab for a living. So it got caught inside some mesh and it got ripped and it got like basically ripped down to like my forearm here and um, he was hanging and dangling out of place and I was screaming you know and I was just kind of <clears throat> you know in pain instant pain and then you know immediately the defense lineman all sort of like started just ragging on me just crying because I was crying so I thought I'd be a man I just jerked it and pulled it and put it back into place taped it together went and did the next play because I thought that would be the, the manly and tough thing to do and um, and I, I took grief for it, like for the next couple of weeks, like you know, who cries on a, on a football field like that? But I never got it fixed. I mean, that's just the way it, it, it ended up, and it's it's never really changed. Anthony Munoz was an offensive tackle in the NFL for 13 years. He played for the Bengals and briefly for the Buccaneers. Like many other offensive linemen, and just like Baldy, he has a famous crooked pinky finger from his playing days. Finally, we can finish off by seeing what catching NFL lasers does to a receiver's fingers. Calvin Johnson was an NFL wide receiver for the Detroit Lions and played there for eight seasons. He is now known as one of the greatest players to have his career wasted by a losing organization. 
After retiring prematurely, Megatron has had some relationship struggles with his former employer and he has talked about his injury history as a result of playing in the NFL. He has accused NFL teams and the medical staff that they hire of not caring about the safety and well-being of the players that they claim to take care of. He has had several injuries that forced him to retire, which included finger injuries like when quote, one finger bent at a 90 degree angle. Torrey Holt was a receiver in the NFL for 11 seasons, playing on the Rams, Jaguars, and Patriots. After catching so many passes throughout his career, his fingers dislocated a lot, so now he has a permanently crooked finger. Here he is talking about living with it. This is my, this is my trophy here, man. Uh, you know, just over the years, catching, catching a lot of balls, um, popping out, popping it back in, popping it out, popping it back in. Can we get this on camera? Yeah, I was, I was, I was with, um, I was. It was 07 against the Steelers, I think it was. And I popped it out, and it never, it never returned back to normal form. It was 2005. We was playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I'm blocking the Shea Townsend. Sure. And my finger gets caught in his jersey, and he, he, he rips away to go try to make a tackle, and my finger gets caught, caught in there, and it snapped. So I snapped it back in, ran off, got it taped up, and yeah. went back in and played. And then just over the course of time, it just kept dislocating, dislocating. And so now it's, it's like this. And it has no ligaments. So now it's just going to naturally just continue to just go, go over to your left. So I'll be, I'll be touching you here in a minute. So, uh, so you know, it's, it's like anything else. You get used to it. You know, I, you know, I, I work with it every day, and um, it allows me, to catch the, allows me to catch the ball, you know, that much better. So, you know, <laughs> you, it's still you still grab. I can still grab. Absolutely. That's all you need. That's all I need. And people ask me, you know, are you are you going to get it repaired? Are you going to are you going to fix it? I'm I'm not going. I'm going to leave it just like this. Um, you know, this is this is what I got out of the game. This, this some crooked fingers. Uh, well, you know, yeah, some crooked fingers. So, uh, yeah, it scares little kids too. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. They, they they've all seen this. Man, what I, what you do to your fingers? Yeah. You catch enough balls like I got have. You, you may have a couple of these as well. Julian Edelman was an NFL wide receiver for the New England Patriots for 11 seasons and also experienced phalange disfiguration. His pinky finger is always bent, and he explained that he broke it so many times growing up playing football that it just stays that way. When he played in the NFL, it would get caught in face masks and on jerseys, which further contributed to its unnatural position. When asked about the rest of his fingers, he said, quote, I've broken probably every finger. I've dislocated a few of them, and with your fingers, unless it's your thumb, knock on wood, you can play with them. It's just more pain tolerance. I've broken my hand too. Plaxico Burris was an NFL wide receiver for the Steelers, Giants, and Jets. He played in the league for 10 total seasons, when not in prison of course. Just like many other players in this video, his hands show the wear and tear of playing in the NFL. Many of his fingers are mangled, and when asked how the damage occurred, he explained that it wasn't from being tackled or anything like that. It was from the quarterbacks who, quote, whistled the ball 40 to 50 miles per hour and you're 10 yards in front of them, end quote. So moral of the story is, being a football receiver comes with its struggles. So as you can see, playing in the NFL can cause some crazy hand and finger deformations that don't really look fun to live with. But hey, at least these players didn't lose any limbs. So thanks for watching this video guys, I would appreciate it if you liked it and maybe subscribed if you aren't already. Anyway, peace out.